Hey guys, this is David the Skin King from AcneEracingSecrets.com. Today in this video, I'm going to talk about acne medications. Um, now, I've brief briefly kind of touched on this before, uh, but I haven't really gone into detail and depth and why I don't really recommend any acne medications at all whatsoever, and why I recommend you stay away from acne medications and uh, go the holistic approach and holistic route instead of um, you know the tra traditional acne medications. Um, so some of the examples, and I know Accutane is getting uh, banned, but there's a lot of knockoffs from Accutane. But there's like Accutane, Isotrentin is like the same thing as Accutane, it's just a different name. Um, there's a lot of like topical um, antibiotic creams and, and things like that, but um, really a lot of those creams and you know acne medications really don't do a whole lot of good because what most of them do in the body, and really I haven't found any that don't do this, is they kill the good in the bacteria. The, they kill the bacteria in your body. Now, bacteria is one of the things that causes acne. Um, it's specifically the bad bacteria uh, in your body that has an overgrowth, and there's too much of that bacteria that will cause that acne. Now, one of the things you want to look into is fermented foods and probiotics. And I made a few videos about fermented foods and probiotics. Um, you can buy fermented foods, you can buy probiotics, or you can make fermented foods, which I, I'm actually going to start learning how to do. But basically, that gives your body good bacteria in your gut, and it uh, basically balances out the bad bacteria, because when you give that your body the good bacteria, it fights the bad bacteria, and it balances out in a way that there's not an overgrowth of bad bacteria, which will cause acne breakouts. So that's one of the things that antibiotic medication, or excuse me, acne uh, medications do is uh, you know kill the bacteria but the problem is it kills the good and the bad bacteria you don't want to kill the good and bad bacteria you want to just kill the bad bacteria now so that's the first thing it does that's a problem it kills the good bacteria too which naturally fights the bad bacteria the second problem with acne medications and acne antibiotics is that it's toxic it's toxic in your body, it's foreign to your body. Anything that you put in your body or on your body that's foreign to your body, your body reacts to somehow. It's not like an allergic reaction, but and it may not, you know, you may not see it as an allergic reaction because your skin doesn't, well, I guess acne, your skin does break out, so I guess that totally makes sense. But, um, you know, besides your acne, you may not, you know, feel allergic reactions, but acne is sort of, in a sense, and partially an essential an allergic reaction is reacting to toxins in your body. So that's another reason and way that, that um, you know acne will break out in your skin is because your body's too toxic uh, and or both could be too acidic as well. So uh, acne medications make your body more acidic, they kill the good and the bad bacteria and they just go in there and attack. It's kind of like you know treat if you had acne it's like saying okay well I'm going to use chemo for acne. You don't need chemotherapy for acne, you need something that's holistic and it's going to rebuild the health of your body and of your skin in order to cleanse your body and give your skin the nutrition it needs to be healthy again. Um, so basically, I recommend that you stay away from all acne medications, all acne antibiotics, any acne medication or antibiotic, whether it's a cream or a pill. Um, I really don't recommend them. I haven't seen one that works well. Um, and they don't give your body what it actually needs to fully cure the acne. It's a temporary treatment. And what you want to do to cure your acne is you want to give your gut and your gut flora um, that the good bacteria, the probiotics, things like acidophilus and things like that. Um, you can get that from fer fermented foods or buying products, probiotic supplements. And then the next thing you want to do is eat a lot of green vegetables. You want to get a lot of nutrients and nutrition into your diet, fruits and vegetables that are raw and organic. And then drink a lot of water to make sure you're hydrated. And then reduce the things that are causing your acne, toxic and acidic foods and drinks and things like soda, coffee. Um, g candy, gum, ice cream, um, uh, you know, things that cause hormonal changes in the body or hormonal spikes, an insulin uh, spike and insulin resistance, or hormonal changes overall, or blood sugar spikes. So, really starchy foods too, things that are high in starch like french fries and, and potato chips and things like that, carbohydrates, um, things that turn into sugars as well. So, you want to reduce those things and increase the healthy things, get fermented foods in your diet, get probiotics in your diet, and drink a lot of spring or uh, purified or ionized water um, to stay hydrated. You want to drink 50% of your body weight in ounces of water each day. So there's a bunch of things you can do that are going to help you clear up your acne. To, in, you know, to, instead of doing acne medication or acne antibiotic, try those things out first. They're natural, they're holistic, they work better, they work quicker, and it's going to work in curing your acne instead of just temporarily treating it. So that's it for this video, guys. Um, I have like 178 or 9 or 80, uh, almost 200 videos now about acne and clearing up your skin and a bunch of uh, both internal things you can do, but then also skincare products externally, shampoos, 
um, you know, things to watch your face with, a lot of home remedies, a lot of natural things, so check out the videos on my channel. Hit the yellow subscribe button above if you aren't subscribed already, hit the thumbs up like button below to like this video. Leave your comments, questions, thoughts, and feedback below. And hit the share button to share it on Facebook and Twitter, I really appreciate that. Favorite this video, share it, like, comment, favorite, share, all that good stuff. And we'll see you in my next video. This is David Skinking from AcneRacingSecrets.com. We're playing the Acne World 1% time starting with you. We'll see you on my website at AcneRacingSecrets.com below. Take care and have an awesome rest of the day. Bye.